Yes, what we've all been waiting for. <laughs> Finally, we're joined by Damnola Bolaride. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. She's a resilient, ambitious young woman. She's affectionately called Queen Dami by her peers. Speaking of peers... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She has definitely been in fashion industries and a commercial. Of course, a number of commercials. And, of course, she served as a fashion models for different brands. Mm -hmm over the past eight years. And she has a portfolio full of jobs with renowned world designers. Yes. Welcome to Wake Up Nigeria. Thank you. Aww, so everybody has been going on about your crown, your crown, your crown. Yeah. What does yes. it feel like having that crown on your head right oh, now? Oh, <laughs> I feel like a real queen, to be honest. Mm -hmm. And I'm so grateful. Oh. <laughs> okay, so um, I know you probably get this question a lot. Is it heavy? Is it? <laughs> I mean, someone just asked me yeah. before I came over <laughs> here. And I was like, you know, I, I feel like it fits better. It fits oh, perfectly. perfectly. All right, yeah. then. Uh, it looks amazing. Uh, you look Thank amazing. You. you need to talk to us about the experience of the pageant. It was, it was amazing. I want to uh, give a shout out to the Nigerian Queen organization for, you know, preparing all the contestants before we got to the camp. Okay. That really showed through the, through, through the contestant, and I am so grateful that I learned so much before I got to camp. And get to the, to the camp, it was amazing because we had a lot of experiences. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, getting to meet, you know, different ladies from different uh, states, it was really great. And I wasn't even expecting to win, to be honest. Mm -hmm. I knew, no, I had the mindset that I was going in there doing all my best to win. But getting there, seeing those amazing girls, I was yeah. like, oh, do I even have a chance? Mm -hmm. But, you know, I stayed true to myself and I was able to, you know, listen, learn and relearn and it came out so beautifully. Yeah. And I'm so grateful. <laughs> it looked like a lot of fun as well. Mm -hmm. was, was it fun? It was, you know, I've been doing like pageantry like um, <laughs> for years and, you know, this is just so different. I knew that this was the time. And um, it wasn't just uh, going in there and, you know, be beautiful and, you know, you have to smile always. Mm -hmm. You know, we were real all through. I was real with the girls. The girls were real. The organization, they were very intentional, mm -hmm. very intentional about mm -hmm. everything that they did. And that made it fun and very comfortable for the contestant. So, yes, it's amazing. Was. <laughs> amazing. So what quality do you think it was that made you stand out? <laughs> that I, I, like, I like this. I like yeah. this question. Mm -hmm. You know, um, like I said, the girls were amazing. Mm -hmm. But for me, I think it's my consistency. Mm -hmm. You know, I've been like, you know, so passionate about what I do, mm -hmm. and um, I stick to it. Mm -hmm. And I think that really set me aside. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't give up. I don't give room for you know, you know. <laughs> downfall. Yeah. When I fall, I like to get back up immediately and fight even another. And I think that's the major thing that set me aside from mm. any other oh, It's amazing because, I mean, I know you participated at um, MBGN yeah. um, um, before. And the truth is that, you know how it is, once the queens get on camp, there's, I mean, there are bloggers that are blogging the one they are mm -hmm. blogging. Do you understand? There's so much expectation from people. I so know. a lot of people are like, oh, no, Dami has to go far. Dami literally has to be, yeah, do you understand? So that pressure, the pressure affects you. People are expecting so much from you. And then when you realize, okay, fine, you didn't go as far as maybe people expected, how did that make mm -hmm. you feel? So, I know I got a lot of uh, fans from MBGN, mm -hmm. and that, that was so beautiful to know that people are really rooting for me. Mm -hmm. I don't know those people from anywhere, but I, I just start to see like, mm -hmm. fans from everywhere, and that made me feel so good that I am doing something right, mm -hmm. and people really separated me for that. Mm -hmm. As supporting me, not supporting me. <laughs> but then when I got to the Nigerian Queen, I feel like I wouldn't say that uh, the pressure was too much, but um, it got to a point. I <laughs> I don't like to believe that the pressure was too much, mm -hmm. but then it got to a point. I realized that oh, okay, I need to please some people. Mm -hmm. I I please myself first, mm -hmm. but then I know that a lot of people are rooting for me. Okay, so. For some reason, I don't, I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. I mean, I, I knew what I was going to say. I was so ready. Like, I was 100% sure that, you know, this is it. Mm -hmm. Like, Nigerian queen was the competition. I know that I did, that I was so 100% sure of myself. Mm -hmm. And I got to the stage for... 
I don't know. Like I just went blank, and I feel that that mm. that that's you know not yeah, it's part of it. Yeah, mm -hmm. and um, you know, I still feel like the organization sees me, the true me, mm -hmm. and they know what I can offer, mm -hmm. and. I think that's the reason why I'm wearing this crown, you know? <laughs> nice. Well, with, with, um, with the crown comes that responsibility to yeah. do something with it, do mm -hmm. something with the platform. Mm -hmm. uh, there are a lot of possibilities once yeah. the spotlight is on you. So how are we using this spotlight? What's up next? Mm -hmm. You know, um, my advocacy is centered around raising awareness to educate the society, people, young people, old people, on the great advantages of unconventional jobs and how it can improve the standard of living for people. Okay. Um, so many people do not really understand what unconventional jobs means. Mm -hmm. um, unconventional jobs means uh, it's a kind of job that most people would not think of mm -hmm. when choosing a career path. And mm -hmm. it's mostly for those who value an intrinsic reward above any financial payouts. Mm -hmm. And I see people placing higher values on you know, technology sector and science sector, which, which are great, you know, mm -hmm. but they do not really put that much value on being talented and being skewed. I know I have this experience. And um, I'm telling young people to build a sense of independence and strength. By doing so, there will be a lot of enhancement in themselves. You know, go after your dreams. Go after what you truly want. Mm -hmm. And I think this is what I am going to be doing throughout my reign. Mm -hmm. Other things as well, you know, you know, encouraging young people, you know, to go after their dreams. You know, you can be whoever you want to be. Be a stylist. Be a designer. Be a model. Be whatever. Mm -hmm. But, you know, stick to it regardless of what people are saying um, about you, you know, the pressure is there. I am, I am very grateful for the family I came, I came from. They are very supportive and they recognize me as an ambitious young girl, mm -hmm. you know, right from time with talent and uniqueness. But mm -hmm. there are millions of young people out mm -hmm. there that are not opportuned like me mm -hmm. to go after what they want. Very true. And because of their families and, you know, society has influenced their decisions to go into, you know, something else. Mm -hmm. So I'm telling people, parents, please mm -hmm. allow mm -hmm. your kids, allow your people to dive into, you know, skillful and legal, unconventional jobs as, I, as a career building part. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, this is what I'm very committed to do. Mm -hmm. And I cannot wait. You know, <laughs> speaking of unconventional, we yeah. are seeing you strut that runway. <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah. It, she reminds me of a young Naomi with that strut. You know, no, no, of course. Naomi stands out for her strut. That's, 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 that's something. Now, speaking wow. about strut, you're preparing um, to represent Nigeria yes. at the Miss Grand International mm -hmm. uh, pageant. So, what has that experience been like? You know, um, I was crowned just a um, few weeks ago. Mm -hmm. It's not even up to three weeks. Mm -hmm. And I know that it's a lot of work for me to prepare within now and the end of the month mm -hmm. to travel to Indonesia. And um, I know I am ready to do this mm -hmm. for some reason. I've been preparing right from time before mm -hmm. I even went for Embigen. I knew in my head that, okay, mm -hmm. Dami, one day you yeah. represent your country, mm -hmm. not just your country, your, the youth mm -hmm. entirely, mm -hmm. myself, my family, and I am so prepared for that. It's a lot of, you know, it's very taxing and, mm -hmm. uh, you know, challenges there, but yeah. I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. We can see it, we can see it, we can feel it. We can feel it, we can feel it. We can feel it, the excitement, that joy, that energy mm -hmm. you're feeling, mm -hmm. stick with that mm -hmm. and it will resonate wherever Thank you go. You so Indonesia much. doesn't know what is yeah, coming. Yeah, they don't know. They don't they know. Don't they should watch out, they should watch out. Yes, amazing. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. So um, a lot of uh, models eventually go mm -hmm. into mm -hmm. uh, the acting mm -hmm. area. Mm -hmm. they, you know, they start acting, they, they do stage, they, mm -hmm. they do a lot of other things. Yeah. What other career path would you see yourself in if you weren't doing this? You know, I've actually started acting. I think it's something that I need to, I need to learn. I feel like I would be great in that. Mm -hmm. But also, I am planning on... Um, Right now, I am working towards studying and having a degree in fashion at Instabu Bugi University oh, okay, nice. in Turkey. Mm -hmm. So I think my, my life is just 
around the unconventional part, you know, mm -hmm. you know, fashion, mm -hmm. basically. All right. Mm -hmm. and I, Beautiful. If not fashion, mm -hmm. I'll probably be an actor mm -hmm. or <laughs> I, I don't know how to sing, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I oh, well. But I can't. But I can, I can do a lot of things. We're going to be. For me to like, you know, prepare myself and think about you know. whatever mm -hmm. you decide to do. Thank you. Know you. you're going to be great at it. We can Absolutely. already feel that positive energy, Thank you. and we're going to be here for all of it, right? Thank you. As soon as you decide, come and tell us what you're up to. Come and just yep. with us.